DSS. We want to know the truth of the matter. We want to find out. Well, it is true. Um, the men of the DSS came in here um, after the service uh, in the evening, and uh, they demanded that uh, I'm needed at the headquarters um, last night. And basically, I had a lot of other engagements, and I told them I can't make it for last night because I had other engagements and people that I'm going to be seeing. And um, of course, they stationed themselves all over the place and um, spoke with the director. And they said they were going to wait till the midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., to have me and, of course, to wix me away. So, but um, I presented my position. I'm not stepping anywhere because I have a lot of engagement. So they besieged the entire complex and they were around. And, of course, the young men and women also stood their ground that I'm going nowhere. So that is actually what transpired. And while I was here, they have also gone to the house and um, they were also waiting there uh, at home. So um, it actually happened and, um, and I'm glad that um, I stood to defend the position of what is right. Was there any reason given for this invitation when they came? Or was there anything like uh, later? There was no later. There was no later. There was no formal invitation. They came in the night. And um, for anything to happen in the night, you should know what it is. Um, and of course, it was um, a, for me to go and from there, of course, to be weeks away and um, to be kept silent. But then. Um, there was no formal, and I don't know who these people are. And there's no way I can just respond by conversation with the director of SSS and whoever. I don't know their identity. I don't know who they are. There has to be a proper chain and a proper channel uh, of whatever. And of course, um, I have known of myself that I've committed no crime anywhere that I should, even if I've committed a crime, there's a due process mm. that is to be carried. And that due process is to be followed. And I should be able to have uh, my family, I should be able to have um, the people around me to be able to hear what the true crime is. But you can't just come at midnight to try to whisk me away. No, it's not going to be possible. Is it true? We are told, the uh, lively told that uh, there is an, uh, an attempt also to, to withdraw your the security men. The security men were withdrawn. I mean, immediately um, after the, the security men that are guarding. Now, this place is known through the years as a security flashpoint. And the uh, SDF commandants have always come to sweep up this entire em environment at all times. And because of that, they have stationed men for years. So yesterday, very surprising, in the midnight, these security guys were all withdrawn last midnight. So it means that as a citizen of this country, and knowing fully well that um, I stand to defend the interests of Nigeria, and Nigerians, and even the government itself, that they can withdraw the security men that are safeguarding an environment that is hosting thousands and thousands of men and women. So it's amazing. Sir, in my encounter with one of the senior officers yesterday on the phone, Conversation in the night. He told me that uh, yes, there, there are certain things they wanted you to explain. But you think, without him telling me what you should explain, uh, do you believe there is anything? For well, you? if there's anything I need to explain, I mean, it's, it's easy, it's simple. Put it down for me. You know, explain A, B, C, D. And like I said, I have given uh, a national broadcast. And the national broadcast I have given is a solution to the Nigerian state. And the solution to the Nigerian state is for things to be put right. So if you want me to answer certain questions, of course I'm available to answer those questions. Put them down for me and I will answer those questions uh, when it comes to national uh, unity, when it comes to national stability. Um, all I'm asking for is the great Nigeria to be the Nigeria. Nigeria is not that going to break, but the fact is there has to be a realignment and there has to be a renegotiation of basic things that are going on. 
we cannot be seeing injustice injustice over and over and over and then generations after generations have been killed in their soul and in their spirit we can't take that we have to restore justice and of course the voices of justice can never be silent there, there are these fears that uh, because we are from the north, the, some of the forces, the northern oligarchy, might want you to be quiet about what is happening. Why one of their own talking about what the system is doing? Yeah, I know they have, I have been called upon. I have been asked that as a vocal prominent voice in northern Nigeria, my voice is respected from what they say. I should have played along. But the fact is that yes i'm a northerner one of the spirit of the true northerner is that the true northerner hates injustice that's the true spirit of a northerner he hates injustice the true northerner is a care person the true northerner defends the helpless that's the true spirit of the northerner my father stood for this and that's why he fought the first world war he fought the second world war and he stood to defend this country all through his life and I think I cannot watch while things are happening and my people in the north are suffering more. The northerners are suffering. If you see the rate of suffering in the north is pathetic. And of course, I can watch that. It doesn't matter what cabals or, or gigagi or whatever. The fact is that truth can never be buried. The light must always shine in the midst of darkness. So what's, what's your, what is your appeal to your, your followers? My appeal to everybody is, let's stay focused and let's know that the new Nigeria must be born. We must arise as a people to defend our country. Nigeria will be great. Protect Nigeria. And like I've always said, don't take laws into your hand, but make sure you stand in your position. Get your PVC. Make sure that you're registered in a political party. We must make sure, not just about electing uh, leaders into, we must make sure that we clean up from the bottom to the top and do what is right. Let's all stay focused as we keep praying. Okay, sir. Oh, on a lighter note, has the invasion yesterday disrupted your 31 days program? Uh, it, okay, it won't. It, it, it has not. I'm up continuing today. By the grace of God, uh, my spirit is strong. My spirit is vibrant. I am passionate. Look here. It is when a man is so concerned about himself that he becomes so self, self-conscious. I'm no more. I'm thinking about, I'm a father of five, two grandchildren. I am looking forward to the time when I will see these children having the glorious Nigeria. They need not to travel anywhere in the world. They'll be proud of Nigeria as a country. A land that is blessed with human resources, with all mineral resources. A land that is blessed with everything you can talk about. Greater than most nations I have visited around the world. Nigeria would be great. So I am not intimidated. I'm not in any way moved. My spirit is calm, strong, and vibrant. Thank you very much. Well, I think, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Uh, this will go a long way to help us in our mobilization. Uh, I think... Then, uh, let's uh, have... Uh, yes, then immediately after...